Hey guys, my name is Dylan and welcome back to another Beat Breakdown video. Now, a few things before this video starts. One, I know that there's a very loud fan running in the background. That is just because it's, you know, it's hot, it's summer, and I'm still wearing my internet money hoodie. Uh, and second, uh, I just dropped a vocal preset with Nick Season. And you guys can DM him on, on Instagram. It's $30 if you guys want it. Link to his Instagram will be down in the description. And let's just get this video started, shall we? Hey guys, Dylan here. Welcome back to yet another um, episode of Beat Breakdown. Today I'm going to be breaking down me and Dinox's beat for Brayden's song, uh, Vibe. This will also be going for the Vibe remix as well. It's the exact same beat. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys. This is the full FLP project file thingamajig. Uh... In its entirety, it's it's a, it's a fairly small project file, if I'm being completely honest. But you know, so first off, we start off with this little intro right here. This is made by Dynox. did all the arranging and stuff and then I put drums in then I put the tags in We love you, Dylan. So I've kind of made it like my signature to put in this little camera, camera, sh <coughs> camera shutter sound effect. I don't know why. I just I really like it personally. <laughs> So first we got the kick. And that is the mood one kick from the Dynox sample stash. Where is it? Here it is. And then I boosted it just a tiny bit, just to make sure that it really st stood out in the mix. And that's where it's hitting, is right there. And then next we have the clap. This is the Bardi clap, also from the Dynox sample stash kit. I have a Cody and Chemix one, I have a Dynox one, I have a Danny Phantom one, I have another Danny Phantom one, I have a Noah Maya one, a Cyfall one, an Internet Money Drums, and then a Cody one. Pretty much the only sample packs that I have are people I've worked with. It's really stupid. Anyway, that's hitting right here. Every time that does not change throughout the whole song. Next, we've got a snare. It's the Money Twerk snare, again, from the Dynox kit. Let's see, where is it? Yeah, I, I can't get enough of the Dynox drums, man. They're incredible. Uh, and then next, we've got the hi-hat. It's basically just a two-step hi-hat pattern, but a little more advanced. And that is the 
Uh, nope, I'm gonna have to have some water real quick. Uh, that's the Spins Hi-Hat, also from the Dynox kit. I think literally every single drum in this song is from the Dynox kit. Let's see. Uh, what's it called? Hat Spins. Let's see. Yep, yep. Also from the Dynox kit. Let's see, and then for the open hi-hat. This is also from the Dynox kit as well. That's a very long name, but... Yeah. Then this is the Zay Shaker perk. This is actually from the Cody kit, I believe. I think it's this one, right? Is it this one, or is it the other one? Perks. Yeah, it's from the other Cody kit I have. Anyway. Yeah, so. This is hitting there and there. And then lastly are the 808s. Which they follow the melody, like the note for the melody but they follow the kicks punch uh, and that's the 100k 808 which again uh, down on skip man oh yeah and Brayden actually asked me how I did this little piece right here was this It kind of comes in like right when the drop hits. So basically what I did was I sampled a Cody sample and I put it in here and I kind of added reverb and stuff to it just to kind of give it that effect I wanted. Where it kind of carries into the rest of like the drum beat. And then I added his uh, signature perk hit on top of it. And then the rest just kind of, you know, follows. So, you know, it's a very simple beat. It takes like two minutes to make. I'm not even kidding. I made this very quickly. Um, and then, you know, tags, obviously. Uh, and then I also did this little thing where... I kind of fade in instead of just that's also becoming something that I like to do I, I know that Dinox used to do it but I don't know I don't know if he does it anymore but it's a very unique sound for sure and how I did that was I took the master and I added a fruity parametric EQ to it and then I just kind of you know uh added this little filter and then I made it automate. So yeah, that's how I made the beat for Vibe with Dinox. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.